morning, Mr. Hardy. Ah, oh, good morning, Mr. Kenzie. I would like to see my general manager, Mr. Laurel. All right, Mr. Hardy. in the sample room. <laughs> Sit down. Take down my acceptance speech. citizens and uh, and uh, collegiates and so forth and so forth and so on uh, put that in brackets City clean. City clean. Of all vice. Applause. <laughs> That'll open their eyes. <laughs> Just the same old apple cheek boy. Close the door. Scram. After all these years, what is it you want? Ladies must live. No, sir. Not one penny. Not even a nickel. Not one kopeck. And furthermore... <laughs> get out. Get out. <laughs> well, how about it? You can't. 
can't bluff me. That was in my gilded youth, my primrose days, before I was married. <laughs> Doesn't mean a thing. You haven't changed a bit, baby. Why, this is preposterous and outrage. You can't get away with it. Oh, no. Oh, wouldn't that look grand on the front page? Oh, I can see the headlines now. Wronged woman comes out of the past to accuse leading citizen. Oh. And with you running for mayor? Perfect. Oh, Gabriel, blow your horn. Oh. Yes, yes, Mr. Hardy. Get out of here. Go on, get out of here. It's a mistake. Get back to your desk and go to work. I'm a man of decisions, and I've made one. I'll meet you tonight at 7 and make a settlement, a final settlement. The mayor is himself at last. Now you're talking. Why, good morning, Mrs. Hardy. Hello, dear. By the way, how's your mother? Oh, she's just fine, thank you. That's fine, there's not... Hey, the wife! Oh! Oliver, darling. Hello, honey. I just dropped in there to tell you I'm giving a dinner party tonight at 7. I invited the judge and his wife and all those people that will be so helpful to you in your campaign. Well, you won't be able to go. You won't be able to go? Uh, uh, he means, dear, that we were working late tonight and uh, we, 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 well, I'll be right there. <laughs> yeah. And how is Mrs. Laurel? Oh, fine, thank you. I'd love to meet her sometime. Neither do I, too. Uh, uh, now, sweetheart, if you'll come, I'll open the door for you. <laughs> Why, Oliver? Merry Christmas, sweetheart. Christmas? But, Oliver, it's only July. Oh, I, I know. It, it, it's one of the planks of my platform. Do your Christmas shopping early. <laughs> <laughs> Just the same little apple-cheeked boy. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I must see how it looks. Oh. <sighs> Where's the key? Yes, where is the key? Oh. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, so it is. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, yeah, yes, it is lovely now. Oh, Oliver, you're uh, darling. Oh, now, dear, if you'll just go, it's pretty, very pretty. <laughs> you just run right along. Goodbye, Daddy, and don't forget seven. I oh. won't, dear. Goodbye. Say, what's the big idea? I'm sorry. I have another appointment. We'll have to call the whole thing off. Oh, is that so? Well, that's where I live. You be there at seven, or else... What about a fur? <laughs> yes, what about it? Well, what about it? Oh, well, that's just another little item we'll take up at seven. Goodbye. <laughs> Here's another nice mess I got you into. Yes, and you're gonna get me out of it. Here. Go over to her apartment and keep her entertained. I'll try to get there later. What about my wife? Call her up and tell her you're working. You don't know my wife. She wouldn't believe that. 
Well, if she was dumb enough to marry you, she'd believe anything. Come here. Far be it from me, Mrs. Laurel, to talk about anybody. But don't trust any man. Hmm. I've had five of them, and I know. Pardon me just a moment. Hello. Oh, hello, Stanley, dear. I won't be home for dinner, Mama. Who says so? Uh, Mr. Hardy. Very important business. Yeah. He's in a jam. Yeah. Uh, hello, Mrs. Laurel. Uh, this is Mr. Hardy. Uh, I'm sorry, but it's imperative, positively imperative, that Stanley Wentz tonight. <laughs> Something to do with my campaign. Is that so? Well, I don't care anything about your campaign. Listen, you tell him for me that if he isn't home for dinner, I'll break his arm. Uh, thank you so much for your cooperation. Goodbye. There you are. Nothing to it. Did she say I could stay out? Why, certainly. And furthermore, she said that as long as you were with me, you could go as far as you liked. Now you go over to the apartment and keep this troublemaker in a good humor until I can get there. You know, get organized. What are you going to do? I'm going to call and thank Mama. Oh! Oh, oh Marie, yes, when you let him in, beat it. Yes, Won't you step in? Oh. Johnny on the spot, promptly at seven. What are you doing here? Mr. Hardy sent me over. He told me to get organized. He what? He told me to keep you busy, so you wouldn't annoy him. Oh, he's trying to put one over on me, is he? Where is he? He's home. Well, uh, what's his number? I won't tell you. Oh, you won't tell me, huh? No. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, no, I oh, won't. Oh, yes, you will. You can't block you me. You'll tell me his number and I like won't. Him. You will tell me his no. number. No. What's his Absolutely number? Absolutely no. What is his number? Let it, 3648. Thank you. Give me Granite, 3648. <laughs> oh, Frank, dear, tell the folks a story about the man with the past. Yes, ma'am. Just hold the while. Excuse me, Mr. Hardy. You're wanted on the telephone. Uh, uh, tell them I'm engaged. She says it's very important. <laughs> Pardon me, please, just a moment. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll be right back. Hello? Well, you wall-eyed pike, what's the big idea of sending this dumbbell over to me? Yes, yes, I know, but get this. If you're not over here right away, I'm coming over to that joint of yours and pull off the front door. Shh. I've got company. As soon as I can get away, I'll come right over. Don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Well, it better be all right. And make it snappy. Shut up.
Do you mind if I smoke? I don't care if you burn up. Beautiful. Oh, perfectly beautiful. Well, Judge, what about a nice cigar? I would love it. I knew you would. Just a moment. <laughs> now, where are those cigars? If you'll excuse me, I'll run out and get some. Oh, don't trouble, Mr. Hardy. Why, it's no trouble at all. It's a pleasure. <laughs> If you'd excuse me, darling, I'm going out to get some cigars. Don't be long, dear. Oh, I won't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Judge. My Thank own you. private stock. Thank you, Mr. Hardy. Thank you. Oh, pardon me. Hardy, uh, I want to talk to your husband. Listen, give me that phone. Uh, pardon me, dear. Just a moment. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Ollie. You'll have to hurry. I can't get organized. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Gee, it's great to hear from you again. Uh, yes, uh, I'll be around and see you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> An old schoolmate of mine. Uh, we used to room together. Uh, um, I think we'd better go in and see the guest. How about singing one of your old songs, Mr. Hardy? <laughs> uh, well, the pipes are not just what they used to be. <laughs> oh, do, Mr. Hardy. You are so impressive. Yes, do sing, Oliver. You're so impressive. Out. All right. I'll use the other door. Hey, do you? Well, you certainly can. Not listen. Get away from me. You can't go, I tell you.
as I expected. So, you're going over to Hardy's house, are you? You're going to have a wild party, are you? You little monkey. I'll tell your wife. I think so, too. Oh, I'm so sorry, Judge. Must you leave so soon? Excuse me, please. Good night, Mr. Holliday. 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 Good night, Mr. Holliday.
out here before my wife comes back. Decided to go home. Good night. 